the spot of the Holy Ghost. Go on and tell somebody, I got the spirit of the Lord. I got the joy of the Lord. I got the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. If we talk about the church of Laodicea and say Laodicea was a church that was neither that was lukewarm it was neither hot or it was neither cold and they misrepresented it too but the church of Laodicea it had no permanent supply of water yes and so it was called lukewarm because the, the hot springs brought water down to Laodicea yes and Laodicea Places, uh, the sea rather had good water correction they had good water and in the, to the north uh, was heat uh, uh, conduits uh, and they brought down uh, the hot water to Laodicea but when the water got to Laodicea it had cooled off it was neither hot uh, or neither cold uh, so the power of the holy scriptures is not talking about uh, the everyday things of uh, things being hot uh, or it's being cold because here you would have to say Laodicea was cold it didn't have hot water so it's not condemning Laodicea of being cold and receiving hot water but by the time it got there the water was warm and it was neither cold but neither hot and so they missed the scriptures and turned in biblical archaeology to their own saying made up stuff and the people was hollering it had nothing to do with Laodicea getting lukewarm water, but it was talking about the spirit that was governing over Laodicea. And it had not the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, it had who Jesus was, but they refused the Christ. And so that's why they were called neither hot nor cold. They had part of the truth, but not the whole truth. And when the church of the living God get part of the truth, uh, they go make it up uh, religious sayings uh, just like uh, some churches uh, say there are five things uh, that you got to go through uh, in order to be saved uh, one of them they say uh, you got to be yes uh, you got to hear the word uh, you got to hear that Christ is the faith in Christ uh, you got to go through repentance uh, the fourth step uh, you got to have confession of faith uh, and the fifth step uh, you got to have water baptism you must be immersed in water. But if they go to Jerusalem, they find out that in the north, they got four to six inches of rain per year. And in the south, they got less rain. That's why the Bible says, Jesus said, God said, brother, when you get to the promised land, it'll be a land of milk and a land of honey. Because in the north, they got more rain. You do better in raising cows in the north. Yes, cows eating green grass, producing white milk. Ain't that a miracle, somebody? They say, well, when you go to the south, it get less rain. Bees will do better down there in the heat. I noticed when I was cleaning pits and bees came around, I sprinkled water on them. They took off. When the water hit them, they fell to the ground. They can't pop their wings and a function given. God the glory, the way they were created, when they get wet, so they are more the rain, when it's raining, they go into their shelter, and go deep into their burrows, yes, so in the south, they got less rain, bees produce honey, somebody, and so you had, in the north, milk, in the south, honey, but I want to tell you today, God is a mighty God, he fixes things the way he want to fix it, he does things the way he wants to do it. Yes, somebody. He is the creator. Yes, somebody. He is the sustainer. Yes, somebody. He is the Lord of Lord. And Laodicea needed to be neither hot nor cold in the spirit of the Lord. Somebody need to say today, when you get the spirit of the Lord, you are hot. Yeah. Hot things burn up things. Yes. People can't stand the spirit of the Lord. It makes them too hot. But when people can stand and bear the spirit of the Lord, hallelujah, somebody, it'll make them hot. Hot things burn up cold things. Hot things set things on fire. Can I get a witness here? Whenever hot people 
walking, walking in the spirit of God. And they just open their mouth before anybody. It'll burn up what ain't like God. Can I get a witness? It'll bring joy that which is like God. Yes. You know my fire. Jeremiah said, the spirit of the Lord is like fire. Shut up in my bones. Ain't it good somebody to be on fire for the Lord? Don't you feel it somebody?